Set point programming allows the user to program three different set points for temperature and humidity. And we're going to go ahead and go press OK, which brings us in the main menu. We want to go into set points. Notice that there's two options, temp set point and humidity set point. What we want to do is go into temp set point. Press OK. Notice that there's three options, day, night, and DIF. Day is activated by default. Night and DIF can be turned on if desired. Note DIF is short for difference, a technique that some growers use to control the growth characteristics of certain plants. But first we're going to go ahead and look in the day and we're going to go ahead and press OK. This brings you to the basic set point menu system. If you notice by pressing button number five, it highlights the heat set point. The heat set point is the low temperature target which the heat stages are engaged. If you were to press number six, cool set point. The cool set point is the high temperature target which the cool stages are engaged. A user can change the temp by using the wheel. By simply rotating the wheel gently, you can change the temp or you can highlight and press OK and rotate the wheel as well. Set time will allow you to input the start time for the day set point. So let's go ahead and press start time. And if you notice, there's one set point initiated and it says absolute 7 a.m. Now, if you're okay with 7 a.m., you could leave it there or if you want to change it to like 8 a.m., you would press start day. And then you have the option of setting the hour, the 10th minute, the one minute, a.m., p.m., or you can go to military time. But let's go ahead and go to the hour and switch our start hour to be 8 a.m. Hit OK, press back, and I'll prompt you to save. Go ahead and save it. So now your start day start time is 8 a.m. Let's go hit the back button. And you'll notice also that you have a show more option button. By pressing show more options, you're able to set the stage width, the ramp, and the dead band. Now the stage width, when you press stage width, you notice that this little box here is, is highlighted. Now the stage width allows you to initiate the stage separation. This separation allows you to initiate different equipment to counteract the temperature range. You can also press OK to change this variable as well. The ramp enables a gradual temperature transition from one set point to the next. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and initiate a 30 minute ramp. Hit OK. Now the dead band prevents equipment from oscillating back and forth due to small temperature fluctuations. And right now it's at 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit for dead band. And we're going to go ahead and leave it there right now because that's a good dead band value. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And this is an understanding and an overview of your basic set point menu system. But what we want to do now is we want to go back a couple of spots here. Save. And we want to go back to the temp set point um, screen. You can activate three different temperature set points within a 24 hour period. Day, night, and DIF. Three separate temp points. Go to night. And if you notice when you press night, it says this set point is currently off. You would press one to activate it and automatically the screen is populated with information. And what I've already done is pre-inputted this information to give you an understanding in what you can do. As well as going back to DIF, pressing OK, activating DIF, and you have the same thing. So if I was to go back and go to day, go to day, press OK, you notice that it's 68 to 72. Going back, if I go to night, it says 68 to 73. Going back, go to DIF, it says 67 to 71. This is the different set points that we have 
initiated. So in other words, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., it's going to be 70 to 75. From 5 p.m. to 2.30 a.m., it's going to be 67 to 71. And from 2.30 to 8, it's going to be 68 to 72. But after a while of, of testing and programming, you'll get an understanding of exactly what parameters you want to implement in your set point system. But what we're going to do right now is go back a few steps and we're going to go talk about humidity set points right now. Go into humidity set point and you got also the three same options, day, night, and DIF. We're going to go into day. And as you can see, we have the same basic set point menu system for humidity. Button number six allows you to navigate between setting your humidity and dehumidity percentages. So right now, for instance, it says dehumidified 75%. We want to go ahead and get that to 70 or 69. And then let's say you want to raise the humidity set point. You press that and you can go ahead and change that as well. Pressing advance brings you to the ramp, which is a gradual humidity transition from one set point to the next. I put 30, or you could put a dead band, which prevents equipment from oscillating back and forth due to small humidity fluctuations. Now that we have a basic set point understanding, we can proceed to the next steps in getting our greenhouse up and running.